waste time so fast. I wish for it to become slower. Dora! Dora! Who are you? I am you, and you are me. How? I don't have a twin. That's not the important thing. I want you to know that time can go slow. Really? How? Time is not the same for everyone and everything. This means that time is relative. I still don't understand. Why don't you get on the spaceship and travel to space with an enormous speed? Hello? Anybody here? Donna, you're back. How come that you're older than me now? This phenomenon is known as the twin paradox. Just like what I've told you, that time is relative. This was explained by Albert Einstein on his theory of special relativity. He discovered that time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to something else. Remember that when you move faster, for instance, time moves slower. And this is the time dilation. So, dilation means stretching or lengthening of time. But the question is, how does it really happen? To explain that, let us consider a clock. Before you left, I placed a potent clock on the spaceship. This has two mirrors facing each other and potent bouncing between them. Every time the potent hits the bottom mirror, it is one tick of time. When you are not yet moving, the potent travels in vertical lines. This is also your observation when you are inside the spaceship. The moment you started moving, you observed that the clock still moves up and down. But in my perspective, it travels diagonally and it travels a longer distance. Since the button travels a longer distance and the speed of light is constant, each tick takes longer time relative to me since I am on Earth. So your clock moves slower, and the faster you move, the slower your time is. That is why when I let you ride in the spaceship with a speed of 95% the speed of light, and then you go back to Earth, it took only 15 years for you, but for me on Earth, it took 48 years. Hence, we look different now. I look older than you, and you barely age. Time dilation can be further explained by the formula P prime is equal to T times the square root of 1 minus V square all over C square. Now, after learning these things, do you still want to slow time? This only proves that every second counts, so we should travel life with passion and excellence. things fall and sometimes follow a parabolic path. And that is for another learning journey.